Yo, how's everyone doing today? This is B with well, Let's Talk About Tech. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a case review for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Let's go ahead and jump right into the Amazon app. Okay, so it's going to be the Spigen Thin Fit P designed for your Z Fold 4. Let's go ahead and check out some of the images here. Okay, so this case will cost you guys about 70 bucks, but actually right now at Amazon, you can save an extra 10 bucks if you press that button right there, okay? So let's make sure if you guys do end up buying this case, I'm gonna drop a link below, but make sure you smash that coupon button to save an extra 10 bucks. All right, let's check out some of the product information down here really quick. Okay, before we get started, just want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate y'all being here. And also, anybody watching this video right now that's not subscribed, I want you to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. All right, let's go ahead and check out the box. So it's going to be a simple white box from Spigen. It's going to be nothing fancy. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Okay, so it's going to be a two-part style case. Also in the box, we got some information on how to install the case. We got some extra adhesive strips and we got some brochures and information. We're gonna put all that stuff to the side. Let's check out the front part of the case. So it's gonna be a bunch of adhesive strips in here that you guys can use if you like. It's gonna be all the way around with adhesive strips. This is gonna be the pin holder right there. Let's go ahead and check out the back of the case. Here we go, got a little bit of branding right there from Spigen. Got some more branding on the inside. Let's go to see how it looks on the phone. Okay, so the back part goes on nice and easy, no issues there. That's how it's gonna look. Let's go ahead and put on the front piece. Okay, so everything goes on nice and easy. And right out the gate in the hand, it feels pretty comfortable. Not super comfortable in my opinion, but let's go ahead and check out the rest of the case. So over on the bottom, we got all our cutouts. Over on this side, we got a volume rocker and power button. It's gonna be wide open for easy access. This is gonna be the S Pen slot, like I said before. Over on top, we got all our cutouts. And over on this side, the hinge is gonna to be totally exposed. So it's gonna be no hinge protection with this case. Over on the back, as far as camera protection goes, you have a nice lip going around your cameras. So that's pretty nice. Over on the front, as far as uh, screen protection goes, we got a nice tall lip going all the way around the screen. Let's go ahead and see how it looks with the phone open. So that's how it's gonna look from the front. Check out the back real quick. That's how it's gonna look. All right, let's go ahead and check out the S Pen. All right, so the S Pen is gonna go right in this slot right there. You also wanna put the tip facing up and it just pops in like that. It's gonna be nice and secure, it's not gonna fall out. That's how it looks from the front with the pin in. All right, let's go ahead and get the S Pen out and try to use it. So the S Pen comes out really easy. Just get it out. All right, so you go ahead and do whatever you need to do with your S Pen. Take your notes, uh, get your screenshots, whatever you want to do. And then when you get done with the S Pen, just put it right back in the slot and then you're good to go. All right, let's go ahead and check out wireless charge. Okay, so wireless charge is good. Let's go ahead and check out reverse wireless charge. Okay, so reverse wireless charge is good. So this case is gonna be a lot more nicer. It has more room in this area right here. With the Z Fold 3 case, it was kind of tight in this section right here. And I kind of had a hard time getting to the power button sometimes, and also the volume rocker. But with this case, I think Spigen made some pretty good refinements with this case and it's easier to get to the power button. Let's go ahead and check it out with the left hand. 
Okay, if you wanna unlock the phone with your left hand, let's see. Yeah, works really good. So that's a huge improvement. Then you got more room in this space right here, okay? Let's go ahead and check out the lay flat test. Okay, with this case, it is gonna rock on the table. Okay, guys, keep that in mind. It's not gonna sit flat. Let's go ahead and open it up and see how it works. All right. Okay, it's pretty flat so far. But on this right hand corner on the bottom, it will rock just a little bit. It's not bad, but it does rock on this side right here. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the front screen and see can I type on it. I know some cases have a super tall lip going around the screen and it kind of blocks the typing functionality. So let's go ahead and type with this case on and see if it works okay. Yes, everything works great with this case as far as typing. That's not gonna be an issue. Let's go ahead and check it out in flex mode and see how it looks with the S Pen on top. So in flex mode, that's how it's gonna look. I think that's like really clean look right there. Got your S Pen right there. You can get it whenever you need to. Get it out. Go ahead and write or draw or take notes, whatever you gotta do. Put the S Pen right back in the slot and then you're good to go. Okay, so the stuff that I don't like with this case so far, I don't like how sharp it is. If you look right here on this corner, very sharp. That corner is very sharp. Same thing with the bottom. Those corners are too sharp. I would like to see speed and get this thing sanded down just a bit so it's not so sharp at the edges. And also on the bottom of the case, it's a little bit too sharp. If you guys see these corners right here, I just wish speaking would have kind of like sanded this down a little bit to make it a little bit more comfortable. Cause when I'm holding my phone, it kind of rests on my pinky finger a lot. And if it's too sharp on the bottom, it's gonna dig into my hand and I don't like that. And also what I don't like about this case that it doesn't lay flat on a table. I feel like a case whose main selling point is a pen holder, it should lay completely flat on the table. And like I said before, it's not bad, but this corner right here does rock, as you guys can hear. So that's one thing I don't like. Okay, the stuff that I do like with this case, I do like, like I said before, I do like the power button. It's much easier to get to than previous iterations. I can unlock my phone easily without an issue. I can get to my volume rocket without an issue. Same thing with the left hand. If I wanna unlock my phone with the left, I can do it just like that, okay? So that's really nice. Also, I like that this case works with the wireless charger, the wireless car charger. So if I wanna get in my car and charge my phone, it's not gonna be an issue, as you guys can see. It's gonna work 100% of the time with the wireless car charger. Also, what I like is the S Pen slot over here. It also doubles as like a grip for your hand. So when I'm writing with my S Pen or, or I'm holding my phone, I can use this part right here to hold. That way I can like navigate through my phone and I don't gotta have my fingers on my actual screen. So I really like this area over here. Just for like holding the phone, it's really nice. Also I like this, it's gonna be nice and lightweight. It's gonna be nice and slim. It's gonna come in at 1.29 ounces. So it's gonna be a nice lightweight it's gonna be nice and easy to carry in your pocket. You're not gonna have any issues as far as bulkiness or weight. Yeah, so overall, I think this case is actually pretty nice. The one thing that I really don't like about it, out of all the things that I mentioned, is it's not comfortable. It's not comfortable enough for me. I'm kind of spoiled. I've been using this Samsung case with the grip on the back here, and this case is super comfortable. I love this silicone. It's very soft. The bottom of the cases are rounded. So if it's resting on my finger, it's not gonna dig into my finger. With this one, like I said, the plastic is just too hard for me. And after a while, it's just super uncomfortable. So that's the one knock for me. I wish this case was designed more comfortable. But other than that, it's a good case. It serves its purpose. You got your S Pen. I think it looks good. It's a good looking case. Yeah. So I do recommend it. Like if you don't mind a case is not that comfortable, this is a good case. If you guys want to pick this case up, I'm going to drop a link below. And if you guys do use that link, it does help my channel grow. So I do appreciate when you guys use the links down below. All right. All right, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. You guys got any questions or comments or suggestions, hit me up below. I'll be happy to answer. If you guys want to see more videos like this, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Other than that, you guys have a good day. Peace out.